Download all the Sly Show podcast at theslyshow.com. Ladies and gentlemen, Ernie's show is about to start. So sit down, get comfortable, shut the fuck up, and listen. Liverpool's always been a fucking bright dude. He ever tell you when he fucking smacked me around? Fuck no! Get over here! Don't let that fucking bastard fool you. That fool got hands. For real? I bring it up all the time. This fool's like, why don't you drop it? I was like, man, because that shit was, was kind of out of nowhere. Yeah. Oh, you can- Honest with Ernest. <laughs> now that's my type of show. Check, check, test, 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 one, two. Yo, yo. We're Just good. being earnest. I'm here with Cleve. Hey. We are going to take it slow for a second. We're going to take it slow. I haven't been back on since my last episode, which I spoke on the whole Me Too situation about the ladies and the sexual harassment and all of this. I gave my take, my personal opinion. Uh, happened to be one of my more controversial shows. Um, people who listened to the show, who I didn't know listened to the show, were hitting me, telling me I'm misinformed, I have a misunderstanding of what sexual harassment is, this and that and the third, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, I mean, I think that maybe when I was uh, speaking about people's looks and the way they look, Going into detail. I think the way that I talk in detail can seem very insulting at times. Uh, with me, I'm just, it's just truth telling. Uh, it's just me uh, being me. Um, it's hard for me not to address the elephant in the room. No pun intended. You know what I mean? I, I will speak on it. Anybody that knows me knows that if I see something, if you got a big ass booger hanging out of your nose. I'm gonna be like, man, you got a big ass booger hanging out of your nose right now. I'm not just gonna let it. Everybody laugh and giggle about it, right? And when I talk about people's weight and things like that, I do it out of concern, right? For motivation. Hopefully, somebody says, man, Ern, I heard your fucking insults. Uh, I did something about it. I felt, I felt shame. You know, that's all All that was about, you know. Everybody knows I sympathize with the ladies. Uh, but there is uh, laws in place to stop ladies from being sexually harassed. There's laws. Real life laws. Legislation and all that. So, uh, you know, get it together. I got Cleve with me. What's good, y'all? He got a dashiki on. No. A hooded, a hoodie dashiki. Hooded dashiki. I ain't got no haircut, ain't shaved. I ain't got a haircut either. <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? Uh, what tribe is that? Gosh, I don't know. I got this shit. Off. This ain't even. Oh, that's some middle of the mall it's shit. It's the middle of the mall shit. That's, that's, you know that's that mean? middle of the mall shit. I, just, right. I thought the shit looked fly, you know what I mean? It does. It does look fly, Cleve. Yeah. But it got me on my shit where, you know, it's like this African store over on Bay Street and. Bay Street. What is Bay Street? Bay Street in uh, Emeryville, little uh, Emeryville, California. Emeryville, California. Okay, there's a little uh, kind of like a outdoor mall strip thing. You know outdoor I mean? mall. Cleve likes to shop. Cleve yeah. likes all his. I never see Cleve really in the same thing ever. Really, right? Um, you always see me in the same shit. <laughs> I always got a fucking wrinkly shirt on and some jeans. You know. But uh, that's just me. You know, I, I don't worry about looking cool. That was back back when I was younger. Now, if I'm going out, I'll put some, you know, I'll I, I clean, up. Shit, I clean up on you. Fly nigga I shit. I clean up on you, but day to day, you know, yeah. I, I'm not the day to day uh, fresh type of dude. Right. Cleve is. Cleve is back, man. Hey. Fuck is popping. You know, I've been doing this. Turn my vocals up one I time. I took a little break, man. Took, you know, uh, 
I I took it there on the last show. I I took it there, man. It was one of my. You more, was at their heads. Yeah, it was one of my more popular shows. Um, but you know, it was it was fun. You know, I wasn't intending it for it to be that. That's probably why it was. It was just me ranting uh, about you know the things that were going on that week. And after that, I had to after the responses I was getting, I had to take a step back. Like, whoo. People let, on you? It, let, was, it was getting at you? No, nah, they wouldn't. I mean, they, I mean, they was trying. I mean, it's really hard to get at me uh, and ruffle me at all. Right. Uh, it's not too much that I haven't heard. But when I speak, when I speak um, on this microphone, please know that I am coming from a place of uh, knowledge and understanding of myself. Mm. And uh, what I say, I mean, you know, I really mean those things. Right. Um. If if you're one of my loved ones listening to the show, you know you're one of my loved ones, you know, and that's what it is. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, I, I could really care. I'm not here to uh, coddle your feelings. <laughs> you know, that's not what this show is about. It's just being earnest, yeah. show on on the Sly show. Hell yeah. Um. You, what's up? What's up with your boy Lil B, man? The rapper Lil B out of uh, Berkeley, California. Uh, Oh, uh, recently, shit. what was the, what is the name of this? Uh, Here we what is go. The name of this concert tour they're on, the Rolling uh, Roll, Loud. Rolling Loud, I think, was the Roll, actual Roll, venue or Rolling the, the... Out Loud show. And what was this at? Uh, the Shoreline Amphitheater in Mountain View, California. Mountain View, yeah. And uh, at Lil B, I guess, had sent out a tweet talking about rappers sounding a certain way. He didn't name anybody. But mm. He says a uh, certain. Uh, Rappers out here sounding like Dage Loaf and something else. I don't know exactly what it was. And uh, <laughs> PNB rock, rapper PNB Rock. I don't know where he's from. I, I never heard of him really. Uh, uh, PNB Rock and uh, a boogie with the hoodie. What is that? Is that his name? A boogie with the hoodie. They just call him a boogie, but yeah, originally yeah, it's yeah, a okay. boogie with the hoodie. I, 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 you know, I heard him one time. I thought he was okay. And, um, I guess they took. They took heed to what uh, rapper Lil B was saying. Lil B now has fake dreads. Um, <laughs> and I yeah, he to, got I, he got I, the future I, on I, on I Eight to, Mile things. I had, to, I had to acknowledge that. He, uh, he I had to acknowledge <laughs> he, he looked got like the, he, got he some, out here looking like future on Eight Mile. He let's got, let's yeah, be clear. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. He is. <laughs> he got the Fetty Wops going. Okay. Um, but uh, they jumped him. Right, they jumped him. There's a video of it. Uh, mm-hmm. There's video of them uh, jumping a uh, little B, and uh, you know, little B, you know, squirming and trying to get up. They can't. They don't let him up or something like that. And um, yeah, that's what happened. They 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 jumped on him. And uh, Cleve, what do you have to say about them jumping on him before I get into what happened after they jumped on him? Uh, was like some of this, you know, I didn't know all the facts previously. But, I mean, he said, you know, he did an interview or whatever, or he got on stage actually and said that he said something about the people. And that was kind of like, I wasn't sure if he had said it right then and there. You, you're saying that he had a tweet out, yeah, I guess. Previously. And didn't say no names? Uh, no, he didn't put anybody's names in there. So... What I'm feeling is, is like, I mean, these niggas must have felt some type of way. I'm sure A Boogie has heard that plenty of times that he fucking stole Dej Loaf sound or some shit. Or really, I haven't heard too much A Boogie. Uh, I don't really care for it too much myself. I mean, that don't uh, that ain't new. That ain't New York to me. So okay, so, <laughs> that ain't the New York I'm used to. Okay, so after they jumped on him, Lil B goes to the stage. Goes to the stage and yells, "They they jump me. These guys, a boogie and PNB Rock and all they homies jump me. Now that's snitching. Okay, that's snitching. He got on stage and said he did it and he did it. He he went on stage and was like, I'm telling. Okay. So what I asked you before when I wanted you to go into it was I was going into your thoughts of what are your thoughts of them jumping on him. I thought them jumping on him was just like, I mean, why are y'all fucking with Little B, bro? Like, 
Uh huh. Yeah, cause Sly, uh, Sly texted me. Why are y'all me. fucking with little Brandon? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, come on. Sly texted me the same thing. Uh, uh, oh, why they, why they messing with little B? He's hella positive. Hella positive, man. Right. I mean, I, I used, you know, we we spoke about the uh, the other young homie a couple years back. Like, this is a, like a reoccurring issue with little B. So like. Cause you he know. got touched up uh, he got a couple touched years up about, back, about eight years ago. About about the time his first album's about to drop, or just did drop, I forget. But I, you know, I lived on the same street as the niggas that did this shit to him over in Berkeley. It was some Berkeley niggas. Little Nico, little Nico, and then you know some of his you know entourage lived across the sucker street from punch, me. Sucker punch, sucker punch, little B. Gave him that work real quick. That niggas. <laughs> Head went up like a rock'em sock'em okay. toy and shit. Okay, <laughs> I remember that video. I remember it vividly. But well, saying it was the same thing, you know. No, I mean, it he, was not the same thing. Well, I'm saying it's like his response was kind of the same. He didn't necessarily point him out, but he was like, you know, on some positive shit. Like well, it was already on video, right? Um, you know, I'm not the toughest guy in the world, but if uh, Lil B. Gets in a fight with me by himself. He's not leaving without a scratch and going on stage and, and saying, I just got in a fight with her. That's not happening. How tall is Lil B? I don't know. He's shorter than me and I'm 5'7 on a good day. Oh, I'm like 5'8. Me and you ain't that tall. Right? And he's shorter than me, right? Right. Um, so he got jumped by 10 guys. These are New York guys, right? Yeah. He got I, jumped. I, I feel he, like Brooklyn. He got, he got ju- jumped by 10 guys. Brooklyn, New Brooklyn. This has to be New Brooklyn because this ain't the Brooklyn that I remember. This ain't. Um, he gets jumped by ten guys and it doesn't have a scratch, doesn't have a fat lip, doesn't have a swollen eye, doesn't have a knot on his head, no eye jammies, no uppercuts. His jaw's not the swollen. His hands must have been made of feathers or something. His hand must have been made of feathers. Hunt Cleave. Uh, no, out of ten niggas, nobody had a KO. Nobody had a lump up though. Ten niggas. You couldn't lump him up? Ten niggas. You telling me ten, out of all those ten people, not one person had any real power. <laughs> that that's not a good look for New York. Terrible. Right? Now whatever. They want to jump him, cool. If you're gonna jump him, deal with it. But uh at least Y'all niggas is too damn sensitive. They're too sensitive. Even Lil B is a little too sensitive. I mean, but the why would you go, came to, the, why like would you that, go to the stage talking about these guys jump me? That sounds crazy to me. Lil B on their stage talking about they jumped me. I mean, I just, I'm t- he he went he's they they jumped him. He went out there and said, "I'm telling." I mean, what what was he supposed to do? Just like go up there and perform? Yeah. After? Why okay. are you on stage? Okay. Why are you on stage? They he said they they stole his stuff. Right? So they they alleged if they allegedly stole his stuff. I'm sure. I mean, his it's not like Lil B has a uh like a ten piece band or something like that. Okay. He had like a DJ and like a flash drive or something. Oh, maybe they took his flash drive. <laughs> Come on, man. You have to on stage talking about I'm telling. I mean, I mean, I could have. Come on, man. What, what, what say you, Cleve? You over here huffing, puffing, shaking your shoulders like Kanye? What say you? I really don't got no opinion on these young niggas like that because it's like, I mean. Is this where we're going? I think it's funny that. Just like you said, all these it was all these niggas, man, and didn't nobody do shit to them. Really. Ten. Ten niggas. Ten. And then it's like the flip side is like, yeah, you're gonna go up there and snitch. You're like, why are you on stage? So really, <laughs> the, the whole shit to me is a bunch of fuckery, and it's like, okay, okay. I mean, I'm not. Uh, there we go. Dashiki cleave. I'm Dashiki not, hoodie cleave. I'm not for the whole snitching thing. Um, I'm not for niggas. You know, niggas could have shot a fair one. What the fuck are these other? You know what I mean? Shoot, I, shoot the I, nigga. I mean, cause uh, hey, Boogie got some. The nigga got some height and some reach over the nigga. I'm sure. Uh, obviously, nobody knows how to throw hands no more. Yeah, these niggas is soft. Uh, if you don't know how to throw, you can't throw no hands. I mean, 
That's why everybody. That's why everybody getting shot these days. The whole shit was just some fuckery, man. Like just all around, like y'all fucking with little B, bro. Like little B goes everywhere by himself. I think everywhere by himself, no bodyguards. So I mean, no, of no, course no, the nigga he get touched any, like he that. Have, like a bunch of homies. He didn't have like homies with him. Yeah, he could have got touched easily. Um, y'all niggas need to get y'all young niggas need to get it together. Young, play, I, I, I don't. Young really, players got to get it together. Young players gotta get it together. I honestly don't fuck with none of their music, but honestly, I will say I never heard any of their songs. Little B got more songs that I thought were funny and and like I like was like, yo, this thing is going. Mm. But it's it's all trash to me. Oh, it's, it's all, all trash it's rap all to me. Trash. I mean, and then like this nigga, hey Boogie over here. I mean, that's they they they. Them they niggas they, are singing, man. Like that ain't Brooklyn to me. Oh, that's what they do. That's what they do. They sing songy shit. Oh, I didn't know that. That's what they do, honey. They do a little. Scene. You said you heard a couple of the niggas' songs. No, no, I didn't. I said I've heard them. I and the only time I heard them was uh uh some type of BET cipher, and he was rapping, and I thought he was I heard good. Heard Dej Loaf song. I mean, that's what... yeah, I like Dej Loaf. I like Dej Loaf. That's okay for her to do that. That was her lane and shit. But yeah, he sound a lot like Dej Loaf. I mean, it's like the whole sing songy rap. I can't really get what a lot of that shit. Right. Now, 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 you know a lot of people that listen to the show don't even know what we're talking about right now when we're talking about Dej Loaf and A Boogie and Lil B and, and, and uh, people like that. I just realized that because um, uh, a mutual friend of ours uh, said recently that, oh, you know, um, man, I'm late on the show. I don't know a lot about the hip hop stuff. Right. Um, but, you know. I, you know, Cleve and Lenny be on the show. I want, I want to check it out. Right, right. And um, so, um, I was, I was thinking, you know, somebody who doesn't listen to rap music, right? What three albums would you recommend? Some, what three rap albums would you recommend for somebody who does not listen to rap music or who has never heard? A, a true hip hop album, true mm. hip hop. Like if you wanted to say somebody was like, "Man, what's 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 hip hop all about?" And, and I don't really know. And you and you recommend three albums. I have to say, um, Southern Playlist of Cadillac Music by Outkast. Mm. I'd have to say, Outcast. Thirty Six Chambers by Wu Tang. And I'd have to say. The Chronic by Dr. Dre. Okay. That's strong. I would definitely have to say The Chronic. I would definitely have to say Wu-Tang Forever. Fair enough. Fair enough. 36 Chambers is a good one, but I would have to say Wu-Tang Forever. Only reason I wouldn't say Wu-Tang Forever is just because you got to figure out whatever. I mean, because... You you have to understand where they came from to get there to forever. No, I. I'm, There's not a lot of old I, dirty I, I, on I'm, forever. I'm talking about somebody who is. Uh, uh, that's that's a lot on forever. Absolutely. If if I'm recommend if if you you ask for my recommendation, not for, not for your recommendation, not for mine. So so I would recommend, Chronic. Wu Tang Forever. Good album. Great album. And and that third one. That third one. Would have to be a Southern album. And I would recommend uh Scarface Last of a Dying Breed. It's a great album too. And and those would be the three albums that I, I would probably recommend. Um, but man, if I could do more, I would do more. But just for somebody who's never heard uh uh, hip hop, or you know, th- things of that nature. Those would be, you know, three good albums. Uh, Dr. Dre for the uh, for the, for the production uh, quality. Yeah. Uh, Wu Tang for the uh, production. Um, the whole the production, all the, the characters mm. and uh, the lyricism. Yeah. And uh, Scarface for that uh, southern uh, gangster. Yeah. Uh, mob type stuff. 
you know. And then you saw a little all the hip hop in there, so you get your graffiti and all that. Yeah, yeah, mixed in. Uh, so yeah, it's been a lot popping off. Sure has since I've been on NBA. <laughs> NBA action is back on. It's fantastic. I'm loving it because I, you know, I stepped away from the NFL for a whole season. NFL's weak this year. Yeah, I'm telling you, boy. Dude, I just I just left the store, NFL man. Baltimore boots. is giving Miami that work. Baltimore giving Miami that work. Forty up to zero. Forty to zero. You jaws in. Check the sound scan, mm-hmm. nigga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Forty to zero. I could have swore that's what I looked and saw. Yeah, Maybe yeah. you know I don't I watch heard, I don't I watch heard, niggas running I mean, around heard, in tights too I, much. I heard I heard <laughs> through the grapevine. I heard through the grapevine. Baltimore Ravens quarterback got knocked out cold. Daddy, daddy. Um, but you know, that's neither here nor there. I'm not watching no uh NFL action. I'm watching a little bit of NBA action. Saw Kyrie putting motherfuckers in the blender. Kyrie Irving played for the Boston Celtics. I know Julian is very happy. Julius. My, my, yeah. <laughs> Julius. My fault, not Julian. He called, he called you Julius. My my bad, Julius. <laughs> yeah. No, shout out to the homie Julius. But um yeah, that's that's a good look for Celtics. Uh that's a pretty strong team, you know. Um I saw Curry get hung last night for no oh. apparent reason after they didn't give him the end or, you know, the, the, the foul. They already called the foul. Oh, he, tried, he, tried, he, tried, he tried to he, show his ups. He tried to, <laughs> he tried to show his ups. Curry got hung. He got hung at the rim. Curry is dope, though. I love that nigga, man. He be but, balling. KD is, the, KD is the king of that squad. But. I just wish the motherfuckers would go bop some more, man. Niggas go dunk on niggas, man. Man, it's early. I know. It's just they the champs. I know. I'm just they complaining. They the champs. You over here complaining. I'm over here complaining. They the champs and they be over here just, winning. Basketball just ain't what it was. Bas what? It ain't what it was. What you talking about? What it was? Now come on, tell me what it was then. Man, it was niggas jumping from the free throw line. Nah, nah, that <laughs> wasn't happening. Popping on niggas. They wasn't. They dunking. Mouth more. open, legs cocked. Like ah. They they doing way more now <laughs> than they was doing back then. No, nah, they are. I mean, it's a different game, so I can't even, you know. It's a they they, ele- they elevating the shit. Yeah, well, the athletes just get better. Yeah. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, just like uh, any, you know, any kid. Shooting threes is a fucking art. Just like <laughs> everything gets better with time, you know what I mean? Just yeah, like your yeah. kids are a better version of you. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, you hear the sirens. Yeah. Yeah, you hear the sirens. <laughs> you know you in Oakland. Yeah, we in Oakland. Sirens is jumping off. We're doing a show. And we're taking it slow today. Mm, yeah. I have to, man. I, I, you know, I just went off I just went off the handle, I think, last show. Yeah. I went off the handle a little bit. So I'm calming it down. You know, anyways. So, yeah. So, like, your children are the be- better version of yourself. So Absolutely. So, it's like the athletes Absolutely. are getting better because it's just like, you know, the next, the next car model is going to be, you know, you know, the latest the latest ford is going to be better than the last ford right or chevy or whatever you're doing you know so yeah of course the athletes are way better hurt a lot less they play a lot longer lebron james been in the nba since he was 18 years old man i didn't believe that fool was that damn young because he looked old as fuck yeah but, he, uh, he balding and all that I'm like, boy, ain't no way this nigga's like LeBron six James, or seven years Le- younger than me and Le- shit. Like, Le- this nigga look like he fucking 40-something. Yeah, damn he got near. a George Jefferson hairline, a horseshoe hairline. But I'm talking about when a nigga came in the game, though. When yeah. he was like 18. I'm like, it ain't no way this nigga 18. Y'all jazzing right now. Yeah, 18. And he was like, just turned 18. Yeah. Like when nigga said, like, Beyonce was like 24 and shit. But it was like. Beyonce she- the same age as me. Yeah, like nah, when, but when she came in the game, she looked like she was the same age as you. Yeah. <laughs> she did. In, 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 in 1998, Nick, yeah, or I, was I, it 1998? I, I remember. Well, it was <laughs> no, nah, it was it was earlier than that. 97. It, I mean, she'd been in the game, but I'm talking about Destiny, when they was when Destiny Child. Destiny Child. The Destiny, original. I'm talking about Michelle. When they was with Y Club. Whatever. Not, not remember, Michelle, remember? but uh, um um Latoya. Lucky. Latoya, and, and I'm talking about the original four members. Yeah, I remember because uh, you know, I was like, I was just a young tadpole, and, yeah. And then uh, that was like, man, she uh, she like fourteen. That's how old I was. I was like, was like no like, man, fucking way. Yeah, I was over there at the you know eighth grade dances, freaking and shit to that shit. 
<laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I went, huh? Hell yeah. Beyonce. She was thicker than a king size Snicker, boy. Man. I'm so tired of Beyonce. Like, I wouldn't care if I don't hear another Beyonce record for like 10 years. And then when I hear it, I'll be like, oh, okay, yeah, this was jam back in the day. But I, I, can, I think I've been done since that B-Day album. I was on that Beyonce <laughs> overload, man. Goodness. Can't ever let Kelly roll and shine. Can't never let Kelly get her shine on. <laughs> Kelly can't just shine, man. I think Solange, uh, Solange. Solange is dope. She's extremely dope, and she, oh. she did a great job of, of branching off and doing her own thing. Yeah. Her own type of thing. Yeah. Great songwriter and all that. Yeah, yeah. I fucks with Solange Knowles. She looked crazy to me, though. She kind of looked like, uh, what's her name, Orlando Jones from Mad TV. <laughs> Shit. You know, she do look like Orlando Jones from Mad TV. Uh, Solange do. If Orlando Jones was light-skinned. Light-skinned. Good actor, Orlando Jones. I thought he was just a comedian, man, when I saw him kind of do the serious role with the drumline shit. Oh, man, I seen that. I mean, he is in this show called American Gods. Oh, guess. man. He, yeah, he... He played one of like the, the, you know, like the devil type characters. Man, he dope, man. He dope. Fuck oh, yeah. Uh, Orlando Jones. Hell yeah. Uh, Salon, Salon, or Solange Knowles. <laughs> like the same. It's, it's like the same person. Yeah. Solange, just go get a tanning <laughs> and, and take her wig off. And she, Orlando Jones. I thought she had the fade just like him, though. Yeah, but she be wearing hair long lately. Lace front. Lace front, uh, yeah. Solange knows. I be getting down with Solange knows, man. I like her music. Yeah. Cool, vibey, stoner type music. Yeah, yeah. You like it? I haven't heard much of it, but what I have, like the singles and shit that have been on like Revolt, I have uh, Revolt TV, mind you. I'm, um, yeah, I, I've heard a few songs and uh, haven't gotten into a full album or anything just yet, but yeah, I do like what I've heard. Okay, different well, type of vibe. You know, I I, I like it, man. It's, yeah, it's, it's cool music. Yeah, uh, you know, it's laid back. She's showing like real vocal abilities. It's not like that same tone. I don't know if you, I I can't really explain it, and I can't really sing, but it I can't really explain it. But if there's this there's this new, all of these girls nowadays sing with the same fucking tone. You right. Know what I'm about right. It's right. Like this, uh, not nasally, but it's like kind of almost like trying to sing like Nora Jones type st- type style. Okay, but they're not as good as Nora Jones. Right, you right. Know, do you know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, no, I do. They all do. try to sing like that, and it's. I think it's like they're trying to hide. It because you don't have to show any skills when you sing like that. Right. Kind of like a feel. Yeah. I don't know, and it's just annoying when they all do it. But I love hearing it, and I love when people write their own songs, especially ladies. I think um, I love listening to ladies slow jams over dudes slow jams any day, or or rap niggas, or any rappers, day. or rappers. <laughs> um, but you know, I and this is like I know I, no type of comparison or anything. But what I did like about um, Solange is that she does the music that she wants to do, similar to what. Kendrick Lamar does is he yeah. does the music he wants to do. There's no, yeah. I, I feel it's so original. Yeah, the music that Kendrick puts out. Yeah, it's like you know what I mean. It's like yeah, it's like I don't see any but like there's he, no he, type of label influence. There's yeah. no type of this is what I want to do and you know my 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 people are like this. Yeah, very successful at that man. It's hard out there for a pimp to fucking put out the shit that they want to do without, you know what I mean, trying to go get a fucking radio hit and a, and, and a, a, a chick song and shit like that on the record. And, you know, you got to have like, there's like, I think three or four different things you got to have just to kind of get a successful somewhat album. But uh, I, I like the fact that she does her own shit and just the same thing with Kendrick. Yeah, man. And she keep it funky. Sometimes she yeah. let the afro blow. Yeah. Sometimes she keep, you know... Straighten it out. Yeah. I think she's a lot more versatile than her sister. That was all I got out of it. I was, I mean, because it's like, yeah, her sister, I feel, does a lot of what I was just explaining. Like, you got to have these songs to have a successful album. 
what she's good at doing. Well, she's a great performer. I mean, she's one of the greatest performers ever. One of the greatest performers ever. Beyonce is. But I'm cool off Beyonce for a while, man. Uh, keep her off she my, can hang it up, you screen. know, as far as I'm concerned. I, you know, I don't know about hanging it up. You know, I don't, I'm, not, I'm not into artists hang, hanging it up. You got to be an artist. Yeah, you but. do. But when you got like 10 different producers and like 18 different writers. Yeah, yeah. And the, the songs go. ain't preach, that good. Preach, preach on it, Cleve. You know what I mean? Sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's, I'm, I'm okay are, on that. It, it, shit right. is just robotic to me. Hmm? <laughs> like, a little industry out. Yeah. I hear you, man. Um, but yeah, she's going to have to start, you know, Beyonce going to have to get into whatever Solange is doing. Because this, I mean, you're 30, she's 36 now. And what you going to be up there like, you're going to be up there like J-Lo? She, she's cut from that cloth where motherfuckers think that they need a record label to. Well, I don't know about all that. Uh, she's pretty rich. I I know she's rich and I'm at this I mean, point she's wealthy. See that well that's my shit. It's she's like wealthy. I didn't understand what the fuck the big deal is about her, you know, releasing an unannounced album overnight and all this shit just like Jay-Z that was did. Tight. Sure, but nigga, I know niggas that do that all day. Yeah, but she just got the platform. Yeah, but they ain't Beyoncé. Yeah, of course. She they, she got the she got the platform. Yeah, so she did it and Ooh. it blat out. But nigga, I I know niggas have been doing that forever. Yeah, but who are they? There's a lot of people, but like I'm who? just saying. I'm just saying it does to me. It Cleaves I was back. not motherfucking Cleaves surprised, back. nigga. Like y'all niggas was like, oh my god, y'all Beyonce niggas. just did this shit with no announcement. Like y'all uh, ain't never heard of no underground shit before. Um, I've never done that. I never. I did. I've never screamed about no Beyonce. I've never screamed about anything. I've just, that's out. all I seen was just like the whole. I, I, I've just, never, I've never screamed about anything. People were fucking fanning out. out, and I'm just like, I've no. never, I've never waited in line for no sneakers and no. What is dumb the shit big like fucking that. deal? I don't, I don't what know. What is the deal? What is the I big deal? Know. It's she just, it's, just, just a, it's just a product. It's America. She figured out she got a fan base that fucks with her, and she you got, don't. What? What? Why more, do you need a label? More than a fan base. Why do you need a label? Well, I mean, I. At this point, you don't. Um, but if you're in, if you're under a contract, you have to abide by that contract. Yeah. You can't just buy yourself out of the contract. It's binding contract. Well, you can be smart like Prince and Two Chains, and perform under something else. Oh. No. <laughs> you know, I think she's uh, she signed uh, and she signed with her husband or something. Maybe. You know what is your what is your what does your hat say? I've been looking at your hat the whole show. <laughs> what is that? And my eyes are bad. This is a dealer's hat, dealer's New York. Uh, the shit what says. Is, what does it say? The it says the re up a thousand eight grams. Okay. Dealer's New York. If you don't know what a thousand eight grams is, you know what a thousand eight grams is. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Cleve over here talking money, talk dope boy shit. Yeah. This is some real dope boy shit. Cleve over here wearing a dope boy hat. Kilo, for those that don't know. Won't even hit the blunt. Won't even hit the blunt. The, the dag on screen is shaking. Yeah, my fucking TV is fucked up, but fuck it. Okay. Well. Let go of the court. Let go of the court. <laughs> we, you we hear got, that? We, we got a janky ass, what are those, uh, uh, um... Pro 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 uh yeah, pro twenty the pro twenty eights in here. Like. Oh okay, you got the pro twenty m cable. Uh, you know, might need to get some get right on this uh, next episode uh, that we do from this studio. I might have to. Uh, yeah, come we need over another with, one of these come, monster come joints. Come over with some, some fly shit. Uh, yeah, some fly cool. cables. I had to take it slow on this episode. I had to. Yeah. I had to get the content out there. I know this is a good one. It felt like it was good. Yeah yeah yeah. Uh. But I was just over the top the last few, Damn. over the over the top, I, I you know, and uh, I, I would have blew a gasket if I would have came out firing <laughs> like that again. My pistol's still smoking from two shows ago. But 
I didn't even check. I haven't had a chance to check nothing out. I've been working like crazy, so um, I'm gonna have to go figure out what you was talking about on that yeah. one because. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I did two in a row. That was just I was just barking, Ooh. and because I, I was by myself. Ooh. And when I'm by myself, when I'm by myself, I don't have anybody to interject with. I can't. Yeah. I can't sip my drink. I have to yeah, tell yeah. people to hold on when I like the blunt. Yeah. All of this. So I just decided it was take it easy. Yeah. On this one. Uh, I'm not apologizing for shit. I meant all of that shit. Man, look, I, I've worked with this gentleman right here and uh, no filter, <laughs> even in the workplace. Um, never did apologize for nothing. So all that shit he was talking in the beginning and I'm sure on the shows, that shit is a thousand percent true. Um, I walked up to a random uh, 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 Vietnamese dude that uh, Cleve was helping out one time. And I told him to shut your dumb ass up. Oh, that shit killed me, bro. Uh, Filipino he, dude. It was, he was Filipino. Oh, he's Filipino? Yeah. I don't and, think he knew what I said. <laughs> I had to run away, man. <laughs> I, I, I had to run away. He was getting on my nerves, man. I mean, I'm, I'm not bullshitting you. I had to run the fuck away. Dude almost had to carry his shit out by himself. And he was some big ass speakers. He about he was to send on my the nerve. Philippines. He was getting on my nerves, man. Yeah. This nigga already walked dead up to his face just about, I mean, shut your bitch ass up. No, I said shut your dumb ass up. Oh. <laughs> shut your bitch ass up. I was <laughs> like, yo. <laughs> I, I, I damn near had to tell the fucking uh, manager at the time, don't ever schedule me with this nigga again. Because <laughs> <laughs> this, this shit is just like, you know, like I've the personalities you. are too big and it's just like I've we had too much damn fun. I, I, I've, toned, I've toned it down since then. I got my main I mean, man. I, I guarantee man if I come back it. up in there, it gets back on. Oh, man. <laughs> I'll be barely up in there. You know, I know. I don't really be up in there if, like if, that. But if we had the schedules like we did, it would be like on. <laughs> we had way too much fun in that motherfucker, man. Yeah, man. Uh, what kind of shit you got up in here, bro? This face. What is this? the this face? You know, nigga, you from Vallejo? This nigga? old 2005 ass shit. Yeah, I got a bunch of the this stick face. And shit. That bring me back. You know about this man. though? What's this? What is this here? Yeah. That's a famous picture right there. This is um. You know what that is? This is uh the uh uh black mafia family. That is exactly who that is. This is Big Meech. Yeah. Something like that. And all the little uh, co-conspirators. So and is this what your is this what your hat is as well? Same company, but yeah. So these guys are in cahoots with these guys? Not at all. It's, oh, they better just, watch the, out. The shit is just called, uh, you know, it's called dealers. So they uh, so they will watch out with that kind of stuff. Why? Uh, Meach coming out there hunting now. Come on, man. Meach, get them niggas props. Like, okay, movement. Okay, <laughs> is that how it is? He don't want no kick down. You know, I'm and sure. Niggas was spending money like, you know, this though. What is this here? What is this here? Cleve is showing me stickers. You know that. I don't know what that is. is what is it? A couple more. Cleve, Cleve that's, is that's a, a, that's a popular movie. Just, uh, the, I don't know. I don't know what that the, is. The reunion uh, or the uh, release date was like yesterday, I believe. I don't know what you that know is, this Cleve. One, then. Come on, man. This is uh, Paid in Fool. That's, uh, that's Cameron on the thing. That's what I was gonna say. Money making Mitch, they got the little you know, little homie shining the shining up the shit. Some old paid and full stickers. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, man, it's been a good one, man. Cleve, I appreciate you, man, for appreciate uh, you too, man. Vibing with me. You know. Um, people, I appreciate you for vibing with me. Uh I know uh a few of you had to turn off the last show uh after the first ten minutes, they told me. Damn. Uh -huh. must have been going in. I mean, I wasn't really going in, or uh, it wasn't any different th from what I normally do. Uh, one of the people was a normal listener, and I'm surprised that she had to log off. Um, she was a normal listener, so she's. Well, so what you are saying is, so, this, so this it's like some... she's a normal listener. So it's like I, you know, she's heard me talk about everything. I, I call. He was on some regular Ernie I, shit. I, I call. I call black. I call. I call black people. Uh, black nappy headed niggas. I, yeah. I, 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 I went in on trannies. I, right. I, I went right. in on uh, uh, obesity. I, I went in on homosexuals. Right. I went on white people. I, you know, I, I yeah, go yeah. in on everybody. Yeah. But uh, I guess the women thing was. Uh, well, I mean, you ever sexually harassed anybody? 
Uh, no, <laughs> not that I know of. I mean, I've been sexually harassed, and okay. I, I and okay. I let that be known on the show. I, I went okay. into detail about how you know a, a former manager of mine wanted to suck my cock. Ooh, you know, shit. And um, and you know, I shit. I, I um, <laughs> I declined. You know, respectfully, respectfully declined. You know, she had leather skin. Ooh. Yeah, you no. Know? So she was older, you know, and uh, her skin was too tan. She tan- went tanning a little too much. That shit, That's crazy. That skin had you looking crazy. You know, once upon a time, I'll make this short, but uh, you can do whatever you want. I, I worked at a shoe store, popular shoe store in San Francisco, California, and uh, I had this random manager, dude, some Mexican dude, and he just seemed kind of off. Like he was a little too hood for the job or something. Yeah. This wasn't like a crazy ass job. Like I said, this is a shoe store and shit. So, I mean, you know, you would get random hood fools that would work there. But I was like, and then there was like this, this one, uh, you know, African-American chick that was African like American, young and, uh, please African-American, you know, Nick but she, she was kind of mouthy and, and, you know, she thought she was pretty much a thought for the most part. So I, I feel like she might've been asking for the shit. I don't mean to say it like that, you know, oh. but at the same time, you know, there's there's a difference between a lot of things. And, and uh, we had this shit where niggas would just we had like, you know, basketballs and like, you know, whatever type of balls in there and playing like dodgeball randomly throughout the store and shit. And this nigga, the, the manager, a Mexican dude, pegged this, you know, African-American chick and she acted like she wasn't black with it. chick. He's talking about a black chick. I, sure. <laughs> but. Hit her ass, you know, he pegged her, basically, and, and you know, my, my homeboy, John, who John Wu, who's the uh, dude got me the job, he came, he's like, man, Cleve, fucking, because I was in the back, he's like, I got to fill out a report, you know, sexual harassment report, report and shit, and I was like. For what? Because the dude hit her with a ball, I guess, like, hella uh, hard or some uh, shit, and, okay. you know, I guess that's a form of sexual harassment or it something. Was, like. I mean, yes, that's what I'm saying, not knowingly. I mean, I don't know if he knew, but I mean, it did seem like he was, you know, he kind of seemed like one of them like freak niggas that'll like, you know, flirt with bitches all the day, oh, you know, all damn day just because he they manager and shit. Uh, uh, so yeah. all bad. I think he was try- she was just maybe trying to like she wasn't feeling the shit and was like, nah, hell no. Nah. That shit hurt like a motherfucker. I didn't you know, what I mean, I ain't with that shit. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and mm, got that nigga mm. bounced that nigga up out of there. Got him up out of there? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's laws in place. That's what I'm saying. These Got girls him up out of there. This Fast. Whole, this whole Me Too thing. It's like Fast. There's, there's laws to, to, to protect I mean, women. this was it with, I mean, within minutes. Yep. Out of there. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, man. There's laws to protect these women. That's why I didn't understand all of the the complaining and the whining about all the dumb shit. And they, they might have just been uh, turned off by my language. Hmm. I gotta hear what you said, but uh, I mean, if I, you turn off by my language, I mean, fuck you. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. People don't like you for being yourself. Fuck them. Fuck them against the wall. <laughs> no. You know, uh, I, I, I mean, I can imagine. I mean, but like I said, if you're listening to the show and you, you know Earn, you know how Earn is. And like I said, I didn't had the pleasure of working with you, and that shit. You know. Oh. I think. I think there's. Points where I've come into work looking all crazy, and she was like, "Man, what the fuck going on with you?" Like, <laughs> 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 Cleve, I can't let you well, go out like that. We, well, we, you know, we about to get, <laughs> we about to get up out of here. We took it slow on this one, but uh, don't let that fool you. There's a, uh, we got some strong shit coming. All right, yeah. all right, y'all. Peace. Hey uh, yo, what's up, man? Man, man. Yeah. The slide show. show, 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 show.